Welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Today, we're talking the 2021-2022 college football playoff semifinals, which are going to be kicking off this weekend, Friday, December the 31st, with the Cotton Bowl and the Orange Bowl, giving us the semifinal matchups to prepare for the NCAA college football national title game. So great to have you here with us on the latest video on YouTube from Z Code System. I'm Drew, and it's great to be back here post-Christmas. Hope you had a great holiday season and uh, hope you're enjoying some time off, some much needed time off, as well as if you're an NCAA football fan, I hope you're enjoying betting on all of these college football games that are going on, these bowl games. One of my favorite times of the year, I remember being a kid and just loving the months of December, the end of December and early January, catching all the bowl games uh, from, uh, you know, almost feeling like from sunup to sundown that these games were going on. All right, so today we're gonna be talking specifically about these college football playoff semifinals, which are going to be coming up this weekend. We've got Alabama playing, Cincinnati, playing the Cincinnati Bearcats. We've got Georgia taking on Michigan Wolverines. So four big games to whittle us down to the final two teams in college football to play for the national championship in January. Okay, so we're going to be talking about these games. We've got the blog right there, of course, in front of you. If you go over to zcodesystem.com backslash blog, you can read up on everything I wrote about the game. You'll be able to catch a few of the things that I don't talk about today in the video coming up. And uh, the first of those two games is going to be Alabama taking on Cincinnati. Alabama, the number one seed after they won the ACE, after they won the SEC championship game against Georgia. They're going to be the number one seed in the uh, in the semifinals, they're taking on the number four seed, Cincinnati Bearcats. Now, the thing to note here is that Cincinnati is the only one of the four teams that went through the regular season unbeaten in college football. And they are uh, a team that no one would have ever expected to reach this uh, this final four of college football. So very exciting times for Cincinnati Bearcats. And there's going to be a lot of people who are rooting on the Bearcats um, a lot of neutral fans, I should say, uh, rooting on the underdog Bearcats. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be a few betters putting a few uh, dollars backing them to win this game, which would be a massive upset. Uh, that game is going to be going on at 3 p.m., uh, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, USA, uh, USA Eastern Standard Time, I should say, in the Cotton Bowl. And then following that directly after is going to be Michigan, the number two seed, taking on Georgia, the number three seed in the Orange Bowl. And that's going to take place at 7.30 p.m. On Friday now, Michigan uh, won the Big Ten Championship game. They go in this game on a big high. Georgia, however, did lose that SEC Championship game. I believe the score was 41-24. So they're going into this game you know, with a lot to uh, live up to after that defeat. Uh, and prior to losing to Alabama in that SEC Championship game, a lot of people really thought Georgia were going to roll through this. They were having a great season. They were 12-0 when, uh, when that game took place. Uh, but they ended up losing. Now you can go to your favorite online sports book and you can check the odds, the latest odds uh, on this game because I'm sure they are changing a little bit uh, every day as we build up to this game. Uh, but of course, you can also read up on our blog there and you can see any of the information that uh, we possibly don't cover here on the video. And uh, you can also see the odds that I posted there, which came from uh, Bet Online. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Z Code System and the VIP Club, we've got this great VIP wall where you can get your picks. This is the bread and butter of the website where you can go, you can click on any of these sports that you bet on and that we cover on Z Code System and uh, pick the date and it will bring up the matchup, the game, and you can get the picks and a lot of other information that we post there. So we've got NCAA College Football and we've got that set for December 31st. That's Friday. And as you can see there, we've got our drop down bar, uh, drop down menu that we've opened up here. And we've got lots of the games that are be going, excuse me, lots of the games that are going to be going on uh, over the weekend, uh, over the, uh, the the day, I guess I should say, uh, the bowl games. And we're going to start with that Cincinnati versus Alabama game, which is going to go on in the Cotton Bowl. Uh, so like I said before, Cincinnati, a team of destiny, almost, you could say, while well, Alabama, a team of uh, trying to redeem themselves after losing earlier in the season and now trying to come back and win this national championship. Now, to me, honestly, I can't really go against Alabama in this game uh, and pretty much for the national title. Nick Saban's Alabama is, is just a fantastic program. They keep putting out great uh, NFL players. Uh, they keep putting out um, teams that are basically just juggernauts in NCAA college football. And it's for me, it's very difficult to go against them. Now, Cincinnati, they've had a great season, but they've not really played 
a lot of very difficult teams. Uh, they had a win over Notre Dame and a win over Houston, which to me were their two uh, most difficult games uh, in their 13 game season, which again, they went 13 and 0 this year, Alabama going 12 and 1. So as we can see, we've got the latest game results here for Cincinnati, uh, beating Houston, East Carolina, Southern Methodist, South Florida, Tulsa, Tulane. Now, while these are all great wins for Cincinnati, unfortunately, these teams are not powerhouses they were defeating. And like I said before, Houston was one of the uh, ranked teams that Cincinnati were able to defeat this season. Now, switching over here to Alabama, looking at their last uh, six games, looking at their last six games, Bama beating Tennessee, LSU, New Mexico State, Arkansas, uh, Auburn, and Georgia in that SEC title game. So that is a much stronger, more difficult uh, schedule that the Alabama Crimson Tide have played. Now, my thinking in this game, again, like I said, I can't look past Alabama to win this game. Uh, I think they're going to pick up the victory. And it's going to be one of those types of bowl games where Bama really jump over Cincinnati early on in the game. And I think that they're going to... Not necessarily put the game away by halftime, but they're going to be comfortable by halftime. And we're going to see Cincinnati coming out, making it a little bit of a game uh, in the second period. or the, Excuse me, I should say the second half. Uh, but ultimately, Alabama picking up the win. And uh, we've got a 40-20 to 20 score prediction there. Alabama picking up the win in the Cotton Bowl. And again, like I said, I think Alabama are just going to win this game. And to be honest, I think that they could win it all this year once more. All right, let's have a look at that Michigan versus Georgia game now. That's going to be going on right afterwards uh, in the Orange Bowl. Now we've got uh, we've got a score prediction here of Georgia picking up a win, thirty-four to sixteen over Michigan. Now let's look at the uh, team's recent records. Uh, Georgia they picked up wins their last six games against Kentucky, Florida, Missouri, Tennessee, Georgia Tech, and they lost to Alabama in that SEC championship game. But look at the the scores on those games. Georgia pounding those oppositions, 45 to nothing against Georgia Tech, 34 to seven against Florida, 43 six against Missouri. That looks like a great defense. I think Georgia are going to be fantastic in this game. And like I said before, Georgia were on pace to go undefeated this season. They would have been the number one seed in the college football playoffs had they uh, run the gauntlet, if you will, uh, and finished the season 13 and 0. But like I say, unfortunately, they ran to Alabama and, you know, a lot of sports writers and pundits have said that Georgia would have had one of the best, most historic seasons in college football had it not been for that loss to Alabama. Now, looking over at Michigan, we've got Michigan, their last six games now, they defeated Northwestern, big win there, but then lost a uh, nail biter to Michigan State, then came back, rebounded, defeated Penn State, Maryland. Big scoreline win there, and then they defeated Ohio State and Iowa, a good Iowa team, forty-two to thirty. Excuse me, forty-two to three in the Big Ten championship game. Now this is a good Michigan team. It was the first time in five tries that uh, I should say in six tries that Jim Harbaugh's team defeated Ohio State. So big kudos there to Michigan. But this Georgia team is just fantastic, and I think that Georgia are going to pick the win up in this game. Now, our score prediction is is quite uh, quite sizable. Georgia picking up a, a, a rather big win over Michigan. Uh, could be a little bit closer uh, between these two teams than now that, that um, scoreline pre uh, predicts. But uh, regardless, I'm going for the Bulldogs in this game to pick up a win. Now, it should be noted that there's been seven national championship games through the national championship playoffs, these college football playoffs. And of those seven, four national champions have been from the SEC. This has been dominated. This, this playoff tournament has been dominated by the SEC. And I can't see uh, anything other than an SEC championship game coming up in January. Okay, guys, now before we go today here on our Z Code System video, let me just remind you, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, that is, and uh, comment below. Let us know who you think will win these semifinals coming up and the national championship games, uh, in, or national championship game, I should say, in January. Let us know who you think are going to win that and who you're backing. Uh, and again, like I said, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything that we're posting here for the upcoming national championship game come January. Okay, so what I've got in front of you here is the Zico System Playoff Simulator. We've got our four teams for the NCAA National Championship Playoffs. 
Uh, and we've got Alabama taking on Cincinnati, Michigan taking on Georgia. And we're going to run a simple simulation on the upset level of average just to give you a taste of the power of the playoff simulator and how it can help you maybe not necessarily predict the overall winner, but help you narrow down the teams that will compete in the national championship game as we go forward. All right, so I'm just going to hit simulate on this. And it does its work. And as you can see there on the upset level of average, we've got the Georgia Bulldogs picking up a win in the national championship game after beating Michigan in the semifinals. And according to our playoff simulator, Alabama is going to defeat Cincinnati and play Georgia in that national championship game. So as you can see, our simulator is backing Georgia to pick up the win. And at the moment, do you know what? I, uh, I think Georgia could rebound and pick up the national championship in January as they uh, they want revenge against the Alabama Crimson Tide for ruining what would have been one of the best perfect seasons in college football history. Okay, guys, so those are our picks, Z-Code Systems picks, for the upcoming football semifinal playoffs, which are coming up on Friday, December the 31st. Get your bets in now to lock in those odds before the, the date of these games gets closer. And of course, you've got your Z-Code System tools to help you make educated bets on both of these games. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay up to date on everything we post here on Z Code System. We'll see you next time, guys, here on Z Code System on YouTube.